Considering I joined the best team in the country last season, my finish was not good enough. And I am very close to completing Glory Hunter with three seasons left. So I began targeting some new signings in season 18, and both were from our old club, Bayern Munich. With Dad having a similar situation in Spain, going for a Bayern Munich player as well as a couple of other big talents from Italy. I also built a new tactical shape, trying to use my attacking powers to my advantage going through up front and Neymar in from the left wing. And while Dad also adopted a new tactic, his was a lot more conservative as he aims to go for the Copa del Rey. Because once he gets that, he could be just within one trophy behind me. So to give him an even better chance, he signed one of the best defenders in the world from Newcastle matching a release clause. Dad, we have completely ransacked Bayern Munich. They deserve it. <laughs> All the players that you are buying for their club. It goes to show that I built such a good side. I built a good side there. Really, so didn't good that yeah. you didn't win the DFB. I know. I just, I just can't believe I didn't win it. Uh, but like £448 million pounds worth of players there. There's three that went to Arsenal, three that went to Real Madrid, and then <laughs> there, um, the next season, Jose Gaia. Ben Tanker. So we, we bought eight, them again. eight players off of yeah. <laughs> between us. In the last season. Oh, no, there's more. There's, uh, oh, yeah, it would have been that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, hilarious, really. They, they have, like, recruited. They spent £181 million there, £138 million there, but they profited a stupid amount of money. Yeah. Uh, I fear for Jose Mourinho because he's obviously got quite a job on now to kind of try and win the, uh, the Bundesliga after not winning last year yeah. because we stole all of his players yeah so there we go uh we are on arsenal this is the side that i have been building i've still got 40 million pound left but i didn't think there was any players that i could bring in that would uh improve the lineup that i already had so i started off with adesi of course joined in the january because he didn't join deadline day last season so he's already been at the club for a little bit and he's got four goals in three games didn't play that much but he was the last signing from last year then i went for trent alexander arnold straight away 56 million pound i needed a better right back yeah he's he's the one and of yeah. course because he's english it just fits signing him for the registration purposes i went for the greek cdn that you had uh who i think is really good as like an anchor role because yeah. i fancy changing around for that and then Ian Coulton from Everton, £28 million. How good is that for a backup striker? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, 25 years of age, not even capped by England, which shows you how good England's team is. £28 million. They only spent £31 million on him, but uh, yeah, only 28 Eduardo for 7.75. This is just a backup centre midfielder, but my scouts rated him quite highly, so I brought him in anyway. And then Jose Gaia to fill in at left-back. However, he doesn't get into my team, but he's a very good left back anyway uh, because I sold my backup one yeah, and he's right nowhere good. near as good as that. So you pinched the right back and left back. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and I've gone for a kind of 4-3-3, but I needed to incorporate Neymar still into the team. So instead of having somebody here, he is coming off the wing and playing a lot more narrower. It's a little bit strange. I just hope it works. And I was kind of like, will it work? Will it not? I guess we'll have to tell when the season started. And then I went and broke all the records and won the first <laughs> game of the season, 17-0. What are we like when we seen that come through? It was like, hey. yeah. <laughs> uh, Anthony Ford was sent off in the first minute, which obviously helped, a straight red card. But then they proceeded to have zero shots all game and still obviously conceded 17 goals. It was 11-0 at half time. We uh, had to report a murder at the Emirates. <laughs> it was that bad. Uh, I'm so shocked that Russell Anderson managed to keep his job. Oh, how did he keep after it? that? Yeah, no sacked, idea. Sacked after the first game, he should have been. Yeah, uh, very, very bizarre how he's managed to keep his job uh, from getting promotion. But after that, it's been quite nice and sail through for me as well. Five 0 against Redden, three one against Portsmouth, three 0 against Cardiff, and I've also got them next in the cup as well. So. Good start. Good start to the season. Goal average is really good. Yeah. Uh, I've also got Bayern Munich in my group stage. <laughs> Shouldn't be no problem there, so, should it? That'll be an easy group stage <laughs> with Porto as well. Uh, let's have a look at you, Dad. Your Real Madrid side with half of Bayern Munich's team in it as well. Uh, of course, you went for Hamas Rodriguez last year, so that doesn't count as this year. But you went for Monta Montor Montorsi sorry, for £96 million pounds as yeah. a right back. Right back. I'm come shocked you didn't go for Trent. Well, it was right. Oh, I think you already got him before I did, I think. I don't know. I think I, you'd already made the bid. Yeah, or he didn't want to come to me, but I just got this player because he can play centre back as well, so I yeah. thought he was really good <clears throat> in both positions. 
Yeah, he is quality. Oh, it's a lot of money, but I, I didn't have a lot to buy, really, to be honest with you. No. A couple of positions I needed to strengthen, that was it. Yeah. Uh, ben Tyker came in. Yeah, another one. I just wanted it. Good Definitely sentiment. strength from that centre midfield, ball winning player. So I got him in. I knew he, I knew he'd be good, so I yeah. went and got him straight away. Bit of an Italian thing going through your side as well, yeah. because you've also got Santarelli who's joined, who's a centre attack midfielder. He was more he was, he was more a reserve uh, centre attack. For Hamas really. Rodriguez. Yes, right. Yeah. Uh, a few guys also went out, and then your final signing was £71 million for Newcastle's left sided yeah. centre back in Christian Hermerson. So I felt now that my two or four centre-backs I've got really now are really, really world-class. Yes. So yeah. that's that's really straight from my squad completely, I think. And schedule, you haven't played as many games, but you have not conceded a single goal yet. I, I did change my tactic a little bit. I, I felt that I was um, a little bit open. Yeah. So I just brought one of the wingers back into midfield. So he plays more of a supporting role and then uh, just sort of squashed up a little bit. Yeah. And only one up front this time. Only one up front, yeah. considering how many good strikers you actually have. Yeah, I did, yeah. But Orlando is that man. Yeah, of course, he's, he's been deadly for you the last couple yeah. of years. A so world-class class player. With him and the winger going down through and Rodrigo sat right behind him. Yeah. My midfield is going to be just really strong and keep it. And, and it's worked so far. I haven't conceded a goal. Yeah. You so have the tactic was three working. English players. One, two, three, four, five Italians. One, two, three, four, five. Only six Spanish players, and not one of them have actually played or had a start yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and one of them, he isn't Spanish, he's Moroccan. <laughs> yeah. uh, he actually is obviously from Morocco uh, in real life. But there we go. So, okay, good start to the season. I'm very pleased with the start. I ain't conceded a single goal, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Right. Well, that's it. You've got a Copa del Rey to win. That's right, yeah, yeah. I've got an FA Cup and a Premier League. I don't know who was my, what group stage I was in for the Champions League. What was in for that? AC Milan, Galatasaray so and I'm, Ajax. I think I should go through with that, shouldn't I? You should. Yeah. Okay, let's see what happens in this season then. Can we cross off some more trophies in our retro glory hunter cabinet? With the Copa del Rey not starting until January, Dad's Real Madrid side enjoyed the freedom of no pressure and went unbeaten, even getting a 95th minute equaliser against Barcelona to keep them top without losing a single game in La Liga. I unfortunately did pick up some Premier League losses, but it wasn't all bad news. Because one thing this tactic gave me was goals, and lots of them. Including big wins like this 9-0 and we sat comfortably at the top of the league still into the new year with just the three losses so far, six points ahead of my rival Spurs. It was the FA Cup where we come up against our biggest test though, beating Liverpool 1-0 in the fourth round. And Manchester United in the fifth round, with Aston Villa coming up in the quarter-final. Dad was very fortunate in the Copa del Rey as his fourth round tie with Almeria went to penalties and Real Madrid missed their first and had to wait till Almeria's fifth before Oblak saved the day, made the crucial save for them to go on and win. Before facing Barcelona in the quarterfinals in what turned out to be the Santorelli show, as the Real Madrid Italian came off the bench to score the only two goals of the game. And Dad's team secured themselves a spot in the final as they defeated Deportivo 7-3 on aggregate in the semi-final across both legs. Both of us found ourselves deep in the Champions League as well, with Dad's Real Madrid side coming up against a very good Valencia team that I had built in previous years. But in the FA Cup, a tough Aston Villa side was no match in the end as my defence held them to nil as we scored two to reach the semi-final. Where a Man City team awaits and an all-London final could be ahead. More penalties for Real Madrid and this time in the Champions League and once again Dab was relying on his goalkeeper Oblak who turned the score around from looking like elimination to saving two penalties in a row into the semi-finals. They would have to overcome the odds to reach the final though after they are behind his old team Benfica in the first leg. I had cleared my quarter-final opposition Lyon with a great 4-2 aggregate win after losing the first leg 2-1 in France and had already put a foot in the final beating Chelsea in leg one of the semi 4-1 with an Odessi hat-trick. In the FA Cup semi-final, which mattered more for Glory Hunter, I put myself in a similar position early in the second half with two early goals and just having to hold on to my lead. And that's when Man City woke up and from a set piece found their first goal of the game. But then it was a Man City counter-attack and Hallam became a provider and all of a sudden the scores are level. And my worst nightmare was about to unfold as Malazzo scored a third and a Man City completed the comeback. 
and my dreams of completing Glory Hunter this season was over. However, there was something to look forward to still because Dad's Real Madrid side overcame Benfica in the semi-final. And with me doing the same against Chelsea, the stage was set for another Champions League clash against my dad in the final. And what a match it was in Istanbul, as I found myself very early on 2-0 up, as Mbappe blasted in the penalty on the 11th minute. Dad's Real Madrid took that long to get into the game, but were deadly when it finally happened, as two minutes later they scored, and before you know it, Harry Kane was putting in the equaliser. But this night then became Kylian Mbappe's as he not only scored our third and his second of the game, but created an excellent run which was found to score his hat-trick and our fourth before half-time. And finally, Adesi's late goal scored in the second half finished off a fantastic Arsenal win. We meet again in the final, <laughs> but the result always stays the same. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll be perfectly honest. You're looking at the two teams at the start of the game. I felt I ain't gonna win this game, but hey, I'm still there. I got, you know, I've done well to get there. I think. Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm not happy that I've lost, but I'm happy that I got that far. Yeah. I mean, you lost. Dario Orlando. That was my biggest, yeah. I've... He was out for a while, yeah. wasn't he? He broke his ankle. For some reason, he's dropped the star yeah, rating yeah. down to three, which makes no sense. Was neither, so, uh... Uh, but yeah, he broke his ankle during the middle of uh, April, so he missed this game, unfortunately for you, which meant you only had to play Harry Kane. Yeah, only had Harry Kane. Uh, he, he did score he did in the score final. Me, yeah, yeah. 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 He is still very two good. Each, I think. But could not contest with Kylian Mbappe no. and his four goals in the final. What a player. We are now actually past present day as well because yeah. Kylian Mbappe is only 25 years of age uh, and here he is 26. So we have finished the season where we would be in real life, maybe even the season after. But I have done the Champions League and the Premier League. I won it quite comfortably, 10 points ahead of my North London Derby team, yeah. Spurs. <laughs> uh, I also had two players on 26 goals. Harry Kane from Spurs had 7.82 average rate and was the only one above four of my players, Yeah, uh, which is quite impressive, really. So One of the things I did go. notice for your record as well, you did not lose a game or didn't drop a point at home. No. So, so well the done. four games that I lost were away from home there. The four draws that I had were all away from home. And I won every single game at home as well as a few away. So, yeah, it paid off for me big time. Wolves only just missed out on being relegated, despite losing 17-0. <laughs> uh, and it well, is a get, different manager. They did get relegated. That's what I mean. Yeah, oh, they yeah. just missed out yeah. on uh, surviving. Um, they did uh, sack their manager yeah, halfway yeah, through the season. Yeah, 17-0. <laughs> what the hell was that all about? But there we go. Unfortunately, though, semi-final only in the FA Cup. I'm now one trophy away and it is your Jinx Cup as well. It is as well. It was the one that was annoying me the last time we did Glory Hunter. I can't believe it's this time around as well. But Man City beat me in the semi-final. Went on to beat Chelsea in that final. 3-1. I'm so annoyed with that. Because the semi-final, a 3-2, it's kind of one of those. Like both, both results were 3-2. I still had a very strong team out. Yeah. Uh, but Edison went off injured, my goalkeeper, throughout the middle of the game. So that might have cost me, to be fair. Yeah. But Man City do have a great team. They, have, of course, got the likes of Sadio Mane and Verratti and Danny Olmo in there. Phil Foden's come through now, uh, and he looks absolutely superb. So, yeah, and Erlen Haaland come off the bench and got himself an assist. Come off the bench. So, <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Uh, Dad. Unlucky. Yourself in the Spanish League, though. Yeah. Winners of that Spanish League. Yeah. That's what you needed. Yeah, definitely my goal average. Right up right now. I think yeah. I conceded well, 15 goals. That, that's all I conceded the whole season. So Lost only two games. Yeah. But did so you I, win? I've done what I needed to do with the fence. The Copa del Rey is the big question. You did. Yes, Which yeah, means yeah. Spain is complete for you. Yep. In two seasons. Job done. Two Just to put I didn't do it last season, but this time I did and I nearly lost it. Yeah. I think it was a fourth round. Did I, did I nearly lose it? Penalties oh, against see. Almeria. Oh. You always have that one dodgy result. If you can get past that one dodgy one, you're usually all right. I mean, it, yeah, because so. you're not that Barcelona 2-0 yeah. after that. They only finished fourth in the league as well, yeah. though. Yeah, Deportivo 7-4 in the semi-final on aggregate. Uh, but if you look at Barcelona, finishing fourth, Zaragoza was actually yeah. second place. They've done really well there. They've got some quality players like this guy. We've come across him a few times. We cannot buy them off him because nope. uh, he's 32 now, so he's not really worth <laughs> going for. But he's been one of the best left-backs 
uh, so far. And that, that manager's been around the block as well. Yeah. Italy, Benfica, Lazio. He was at Lazio for ages. I think I might have even took his job. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I went somewhere before then. Uh, but there we go. So Zaragoza has done very well. Uh, but it's time for you to leave Spain. Yeah, job done. Yeah. Get out of here. Where will you go this next? This is the thing, isn't it? Where do I go? I mean, really, I, I, I want to go to the Premier League and take you on and try and stop you from winning that FA Cup. Yeah. That's what I'd like to do, but what's available? And then, you know, you've got what you've got to look at, really, isn't it? And, mm-hmm. and, I, and I can't just take any team in the Premier League. It's got to be one of the top five or six. Yeah. Give me a chance. Yeah. Well, before we look at the staff available, let's have a look at the Ballon d'Or. It's been ages since we last checked. Kylian Mbappe is the current winner. Dario Orlando was the winner before yeah. that. Victor Osman was before that. We've been dominating this, Dad. Yeah. Because, I mean, I think the last time we looked, it was Higuain might have won it after the Mohamed Salah win that I had with him at Valencia. Uh, then Giovanni Dos Santos, who has been unbelievable for Arsenal, and he's 36 and still going next season. Well, he's joining yeah. Barcelona, but he is still playing next season. Um, I haven't really used him, utilised him too much since I've joined because he's been too old. But he has been great for Arsenal. At age 30, he won the Ballon d'Or there. Kylian Mbappe won me two at Lazio. He has now won another one at Arsenal. And you'd like to think, in the November, he would probably win it again. He should do, shouldn't he? Champions League winner. Yeah. And scored, and scored four in the final. Oh, four in the final, yeah. So, so he should be. He so. probably should be winning So while you've been again. manager of him, he's won it four times? Yeah. Me and Emmy just stick together like glue. Yeah. Right. But... Dad is on the move. Is there anywhere for him to go? Well, there is. Because Jose Mourinho was sacked. The chosen one. And it's not surprising because they finish in second place this season behind Werder Bremen. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And they didn't win the cup. They didn't win the cup. So, unfortunately, that's two seasons in a row now without winning the league. Yeah. That is bad for Bayern Munich. And they've decided to part ways with Jose Mourinho. So would they would probably take me back then, wouldn't they, really? They probably would. They, yeah, because cause you won the league have, with them. They haven't won the league since I left. No. So I've gone away, won the league in Spain twice, won the cup and got to the Champions League final. They probably would take me back. Yep. There's a few good players there, but it's not the team that it was when no. you last left. You'll have a bit of a rebuild, but there is a lot of money there. £293 million worth of players. So what will Dad do? You'll have to find out next season. But first, we've got to put some trophies in our Glory Hunter cabinets. The Copa del Rey was something Dad needed to get done this year, and he did it, keeping the pressure on with just England to complete and the DFB Pacal to win. And that's two places he's already been. But with the Premier League one and so close to also getting that FA Cup, how long can Dad prevent me from completing my Glory Hunter cabinet? Just one trophy left to win. 